I'm gonna tell you right up front in the video the products that kicked ass on the Jack Swax mystery box so that those with short attention spans get what they need out of this video. In return, I just ask that you like the video, subscribe. There'll be more content coming. Let's uh, go to the cut and then we'll show you how I did the car. First up, their uh, drying towel. This was awesome. Absorbed a lot of water, did the whole truck, no problem. Uh, I could do probably a second car and I'd still be able to suck up some water. Okay, we're gonna do this a little backwards here. We're gonna go from right to left. A two part combo of the Jack's Ultimate and the HD wheel and tire. You saw the rims, or you're going to see the rims, and this got off just years and years of caked on brake dust. Instant shine. It addressed a problem area I had between the bed of the truck and the cab of the truck in that I couldn't reach with uh, applicating sponge and spraying this in there, got it back to black to make it, make it blend better with the paint of the car. Home run product of the detail here of the car wash was the Jack's Wax spray and seal. This knocked out the water spots, no problem. I've got a nice glow. I don't have a shimmering gloss by any stretch, but I got a nice glow out of that 24 year old Ford paint that I'm telling you was absolutely neglected. The acrylic dressing did the best for the bumper and the gray trim on, that lines the top of the bed of the truck. So these make the cut. They are the, there are other Jack Swax products that I tried out today. These are the ones that I'm gonna keep and maintain and I'd be buying a resupply. I've got Jack Swax Hawaiian spray and their wax coming in and so I'm gonna do that and, and profile that. But let's go to how I clean the truck and uh, thanks for uh, stopping in. Hello, Sound and Gloss engineers. Um, we're gonna be doing a wash on a 2000 Ford F-150 truck. Been in my family for years. It was my dad's truck, bought it new in El Paso. My brother had it uh, until his passing and the truck came home to California from Texas uh, to live with me. We're gonna use a buy that I did, the Jack's Wax mystery box. I got a number of Jack's Wax products and we're gonna use those to make the truck look pretty. Now, one of the things that you're going to notice about this truck, she ugly. She's got areas of concern. One of the first things is that this hood, as dusty as it is, uh, was just awful. If you look close, you can see this amount of breakup. It ended up being a Minzerna 300 uh, to just smooth it out and make it look passable. Tires are old, but they got me back from Texas to California. Uh, you know, missing a piece here. I've got to order. It's got rust. If you look up top, it is terrible. Right now, I'm saving money to get the car refinished, repainted, uh, rust removed in Mexico. You get a lot more for your dollar that way. This is an area of concern here. I'm hoping there's a Jack's Wax product that will bring that back to some level of black. These top things, I've been using VRP. Um, but it gets really, really nasty on your hands. I don't like um, what it makes it feel like. Chrome rims, a lot of buildup of uh, brake, brake dust, dirt, grime. I've got HD wheel cleaner from Jack's Wax and the ultimate wheel cleaner that I'm gonna be trying. Uh, one on one side, one on the other. We're gonna see which one goes best. Oh, I don't know how that happened. Obviously I'm not towing anything as of late. Uh, not going to do the interior. I just don't have time today. I've got way too much studying to do. I've got a cover for that in the center that I need to fit on. Uh, it was one of those um, eBay parts and it doesn't it doesn't snap fit. I've got to adjust it. Uh, you can see in the background there I've got some uh, deadening on the doors for a uh, stealth stereo install I'm going to do. But today we're not doing anything in the interior. I just don't have time. I've got my Jack's Wax foam gun that they sent out. I broke the bottle within minutes of having it. It was a, a thinner type of plastic. Luckily, an Auto Geek uh, plastic unit fit on it. I'm gonna use that. I hope you don't mind. I'm gonna tune out. I'm gonna listen to a lecture. Um...
So, so far, I got one wheel done, uh, or excuse me, one side of the car's wheels done. The other one uh, I'm doing here now, and I'm doing it in the um, HD Jack Swack wheel cleaner. Now, the soap that I'm using, it's not known as a foaming soap, it's Griot's, my kit. My mystery kit didn't come with a soap, um, a wash and wax type soap, uh, it came with a graphene soap. And this truck's gonna get coated in Jack Swack's graphene products. So I don't see any reason to waste that soap when I'm almost done with the Griot's um, SiO2 ceramic soap. And that way I can make space in the detail cart and throw away the bottle. Now the soap that I'm using, it's not known as a foaming soap, it's Griot's, my kit. My mystery kit didn't come with a soap, um, a wash and wax type soap. Uh, it came with a graphene soap. This rim didn't look like this. I'm gonna go to a rim that's uh, not been sprayed in anything. Here by comparison, here's the barrel of this wheel. Really gunked up in there, just a coating of brake dust. I don't think this truck was ever done. You know, wheels, tires, details, in probably 20 odd years since my dad first got it. My brother was a ranch manager on a tech on a ranch in Texas, and uh, he didn't care what a truck looked like. He cared does it does it haul something? Does it get the job done? That's what he cared about. So, take a look at that gunk. We're gonna come back to that in just a minute. So the car's all washed up. The rims are what they are. I didn't spend too much time at all, but again. Um, two product combo of ultimate wheel cleaner and HD cleaner and it, it got the chrome clean I've got some polish that I got from Jack's wax now I didn't think I was gonna put a sealant or a wax coating on the car because I've got Jack's wax Hawaiian uh, spray detail spray or something or Hawaiian uh, sealant coming in along with Jack's wax uh, carnauba uh, it's odd that in a $450 mystery box I didn't get the core product of Jack's Wax however let me say something about Jack's Wax there was a an issue with the shipment and I called them up and they fixed it pronto um, those products are yet to come but it, you know they didn't say what happened they just said let's fix it and that's huge uh, Griot I'm talking to you I broke a spray uh, bottle once uh, a spray pump excuse me and Griot said, here's where they're out on the website. You can buy another one. <sighs> Not acceptable. So um, this is a nice gloss and we have really hard water. So even washing the car, you can probably see these water spots here. That spray sealant is gonna take that right off. So here is before spray sealant and the next view is gonna be after spray sealant. gonna do this one on camera because this one looks especially bad. Fold the towel over. And there's that shine. Fold the towel over. Give it a buff. We have incredibly hard water here in Southern California, and that is a nice luster. I would consider it a glow more than a shine, but I'm happy with it because remember, the paint ain't that far from that before I got involved. So we got a nice shine out of the spray and seal. I'm, I'm real happy. The hard water marks that just pretty much laugh at um, other, other products, not a problem, the water, hard water spots marked or buffed right on off and I didn't use a whole lot of the product you can't see it but I'm to about the sticker the top of the sticker level 
extrapolating. I'd say I could do this car eight, maybe nine more times. The first time you use a product, the paint tends to suck it up, you know, a lot. And then subsequent use, you get to use less. This problem area that I identified earlier, I'm gonna go ahead and sheet and I'm gonna use the aerosol instant shine to just knock that out. Now, as I do that, I'll tell you a story. So this is the hood from hell. And like I said, I've used some Inzerna 300 to finally knock it down. I went through a number of uh, chemical guys, uh, compounds and polishes to get it there, but Minzerna just went to work. I had some interaction with a company that does um, a European line and in a Facebook forum that I was on, they had said, oh, we've got some samples, you know, of compounding product. So I sent them pictures of my paint and I said, uh, you know, do you have a product that will do something about this? And I followed up with a personal message. I didn't ask for a sample. They offered a sample. I don't say, hey, give me a freebie. That's just, you know, that's poor form. Um, and the answer, the response back was, Euro brand does not have product for car missing clear coat. The truck is my passion love project and you're gonna like, you're gonna poo poo on me. I won't be buying that brand. As I try to keep the channel positive, I'm certainly not gonna say the name of the brand, but you know what? Fuck you. So here's the effect of the tire shine deep in there. You remember it was really weathered white. Uh, now it blends with the color of the truck much, much better. I could have instant shined the tires. I haven't done my tires yet. And I'm waiting because I've got a different product that I wanna put on that. But uh, I'm gonna save the instant tire shine for this because of the aerosol it was easy to get in there, get in there as opposed to an applicator. Now, this top portion, I've been using VRP on it. VRP is this nasty stuff. It comes out slow. It takes a while to push into the plastic. Um, I don't think it has the efficacy that, you know, people give it the credit for. Not for this old truck anyway. So I tried Shine All on this panel here. Uh, one application, it looks good. I mean, it's improved. I wouldn't say it's the end all of end all. I didn't put on a second application and maybe it would have a better efficacy. However, I'm waiting to see how long it wears. This uh, bumper step here, acrylic dressing is what I used on this. I really like how this came out. And so I'm wondering if this acrylic dressing is the right choice for these, um, for the top of the truck. Uh, this is acrylic dressing on the top. Just a solid gray color. Here's our control. Um, and that acrylic dressing is gonna cover that up nicely. But this tells you the black that we came from, real dull, faded. And then the black we're gonna get, get it to go to with the acrylic dressing. I put tire trim and gel on this side. Applicating was a little harder. It took a lot more product, it seemed like. I didn't have to use much of the uh, shine all, whereas this, I had to constantly keep it on the sponge and push it in and it didn't go all the way through, you can see there. So tire and trim gel, I'm thinking really that's for tires, um, not for these gray parts. Overall, Jack's Wax rocks. I got a nice gloss, uh, didn't have to buff or anything. I could you do a better job on buffing this out and I'll go over it with the towel, but looks good. Thanks, Jax Wax. Uh, $450 well spent.